Okay, it's time for our story. And today's story is the parable of the mustard seed by John Berryman. So everybody, we have to get into our places. Sit down nice and quiet. If you have a carpet square or a towel, put it down so you can sit on your spot. Make sure we cross our legs, put our hands in our laps, and have a big, deep breath. <sighs> Let it all out. And now we're ready for our story. So remember, we have stories that Jesus tells us, and we have stories that we get from the Bible, and we have stories that Jesus told us, and they were called parables. Remember, we had one where it was in a box, like a present. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's got a little yellow dot on it. It must be different. And look, it's just like that. It's kind of heavy, and it's, it's hard. It's kind of old paint on it. Maybe it's old, like your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. I wonder what's inside here. You shake it. Oh, it makes a little noise. I wonder what it is. Let's see. Put the dot there. See what's inside. Oh, I don't know what's in here. This is odd. Look at what I found. You know what this could be? It's a, oh, it's, it's a yellow color, like the dot. It's big, it's kind of round. Maybe it's, is it the sun? Maybe it's a big lemon. Maybe it's a lemon drop for an elephant. They like lemons. I wonder what it is. It's a different color. Hmm. So Jesus and his friends were walking, and his friends always had questions for Jesus. Just like you have questions for mommy and daddy. You always ask why. Why is this this? Why is that? So they asked Jesus, Jesus, what's the kingdom of heaven like? And Jesus said, kingdom of heaven? Kingdom of heaven is like the sower of seeds. This man sowed the seeds. He put the seeds out so the things would grow. And he had a tiny little seed. Let me get the seed out. Tiny seed. You see the seed on my finger? It's probably you can't. It's so small. It's the smallest seed around. It's called a mustard seed. He had a whole bag full of them. And he cast the seeds out. And the seed landed. And a tiny, 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 the smallest seed we have. And it, and it started to grow. Oh my goodness. And it started to grow. And it grew into a great big bush. Look at the bush. And it started to go out. It started to go in different directions. <clears throat> and the bush got bigger. So almost it was like the size of a tree. All from this tiny little seed, a mustard bush. And then, once all it grew, and the leaves and the branches all came out, then what happened? What happened was, all the birds in the sky, the birds in the sky would fly, and they'd make their home on the on the tree and they'd build their nests and they build their nests on the mustard bush the birds would come in all the different birds the gray ones the blue ones oh, here's another nest and there's an orange one oh there's they must like the blue birds must like this because now there's another blue bird look at the two of them together in their nest with their eggs oh a dark blue one another orange one together and the gray ones they all different birds come and they and they they live in the mustard trees from that tiny little seed it was so small we couldn't even see it out grows a big kingdom that is the tree and look at all these birds and they all have little nests and everybody lives in this little tree Isn't that amazing? All the birds and all the 
nesting in that little mustard bush from that tiny little seed. And he had so many of those seeds on all the bushes everywhere. I guess that's interesting. Hmm. I wonder which bird likes the bush the best. Is it the blue ones, because there's so many blue ones? Or is it the purple ones? Or I wonder if the bush has thorns. I wonder how it does without rain. It's kind of yellow. Well, when we come back to the classroom one day, you'll be able to play with the tree. And you just look for the box with the little yellow circle. It's a still yellow circle, just like the big circle behind it. I hope you enjoyed your story and have a wonderful day.